are committed to good governance and inclusive leadership. We know your efforts remain selfless to all your communities, but we remain your partners in governance and we will always support you. And I believe strongly, you know, the real government is actually at the community level and we're very proud to associate ourselves with you. Strategic communications is huge for media networking and community relations. Hence, the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akimumi Ambode, decided to end year 2018 on a high for community media practitioners. Proud to the emergence of Governor Ambode, community media has never had it this good. I want to tell you that before the advent of the Akimumi Ambode administration in 2015, Community media in Lagos and in Nigeria was a life support. Community media was non existent. But when this administration came on board, His Excellency made a commitment to partner with community media to be the reference point and the information superhighway between the communities and those who lead and administer the affairs of this state. So my very first thank you on behalf of all community media practitioners in Lagos State first goes to Governor Akiomi Ambode. For the first time in Nigeria, community media practitioners have a feel of what it is to be the first point of call in grassroots reporting. The government must have, you know, put a lot together and to bring us to this posh environment. It's something that uh, really it's amazing and uh, that the government in this area of time is doing a thing like this. I think they deserve a round of applause uh, for this particular piece. And um, he said something about objectivity, which of course is uh, the focus of uh, media practice anywhere in the world. Um, as much as I want to agree with him, I also want to add that there's nothing called absolute objectivity. I know my friend and brother at KKA TV online here. Yeah? He publishes regularly on, on Facebook. And um, I know for sure that if anything negative is happening around that video, he will consider it twice before he puts it on his wall. And that tells you that there's nothing called absolute objectivity. Objectivity in itself in journalism is subjective. Uh, the community you represent, the, um, the audience that you target, they are your primary concern and uh, you wouldn't want to do anything to jeopardize your relationship or the trust that they have proposed in your media. Don't let us use our paper arbitrarily to destroy. Bring your local government. See what they are doing. If you want them to support your paper, if they are, if they are publishing positive things that are there, they will surely support your paper. They have one, you know, government something policy and all that. They have so many things to hide. And some of them will come to you and give you this document, real document. But you, as a journalist, that you are in that community, you don't need, except, uh, unless the newspapers, I mean, the government, the local government, they are not supporting you. Then you give them one piece of paper, a case they get out, they will call you. You don't just go and frame the story. Just publish something that is negative about them. They will call you. Then you say, what is the problem? You say, look, you send your story. Because a journey, I mean, a community part is the most powerful weapon all over the world. From Ikorodu to Ikeja, Baragri to Ekwe, community media practitioners listen with rapt attention to the resource personnel who grace the occasion. As a media practitioner, your human relation will be fantastic. And what that means by human relation? This is your ability to see from the perspective of other people. And your ability to be flexible, the ability to take criticism as one of the important tools of your work will take you to a better height. It is not only your own view alone, 
then take the best. Your ability to rule as what we rule. Your ability to lead as what we lead. And your ability to have in that knowledge of yourself. Understanding your strength, your places, your writing style. All these things will go along with in determining what you are doing. A tree will never make a forest. You can be representing an organization, but it's a collective responsibility. All the other people in that organization will have supported you to execute that idea. Look at this program this morning. Even if the honorable specialist can have 1,000 ideas, if nobody is ready to drive that idea, you might not be able to achieve what we're achieving today. So, as a good PR, as a good media practitioner, we is the best language to use. You must be able to study the society. You must be able to relate with the grassroots because you get information, better information from the grassroots. I keep saying it in my place of work that those people at the management level, they might not be able to have first class information like those that are at the grassroots. But when you relate with the grassroots, you get the information out of them, but then you now present it, people will be wondering that how were you able to get to that level? And that is the sense of professionalism. The journalism profession also has its own code of ethics. Any breach is in conflict with the practice of journalism. That is defining conflict. The clash of disagreement between two or more opposing groups or individuals. Communication. Is the concept of exchanging data or information between entities. There is verbal, there is no verbal. Just as the first lecture said, if you write in French, there is any possibility that I will not understand. So, when we communicate, we need to have an agreed symbol of code. If I know, if a referee in a football match blows and points at the center, it's a goal. If somebody is fouled and you feel that you have been pulled down and you are looking at the referee and he does like this, it's bad beer. No show. Sure. That is communication. So you cannot be a referee, a player, or a coach in a football game without understanding the rules of the game. That is the angle I want to come from. Anyone who is coming into community media must follow the, what you have laid down. Am I making sense? So we are one on that definition of community. Conflict, of course, will be a breach of those agreed codes. As communicators, as raw models, you need a very deep understanding of government thinking, policies, and programs. When you are in doubt, don't ask Google, ask government. In that, that most of the things that will give us joy in this life are things that we need other people for. We need other people. And therefore, if you see anybody who says, I don't care about what people say, I'm not concerned about what people feel, that person is not true to himself. Because the truth is that we are all concerned about what people think about us. We are all concerned about what people feel about us. We are all concerned about what people say about us. Because it is all these things that they think or say or feel about us that will determine us in the final analysis. And therefore, we are forced as individuals to relate with other people. And it is by in, within this relationship that we come to obtain our true nation. Having said that, in the practice of public relations, in, in, in the media practice, we require public relations skills. And one most important thing, therefore, in public relations is to be able to identify one's public. What is the public or my target audience? For community media practice, this is not debatable. It is the community that is the public. Understanding that community and relating with that community in a way that will make you achieve 
the best results. In his goodwill message, the Chairman and House Committee on Local Government, Honorable Roti Miolowo, challenged participants to let their community have a huge sense of belonging. Uh, I know you are one of the best tools we can have to change the course of leaders for better. Because any other structure apart from local government is provincial. So you are very, very pivotal to the development of those localities. And I appreciate the, the essay and the, the team for bringing this part. I think there must be symbolic relationship between the community and the media. We need you more than you need us. You are the only one that can give the desired uh, development you need. The aspiration of the people can only be met through you. You are very, very important to us. I'm happy to be part of this. I've learned a lot from Professor. I've applied from the development. I appreciate it. So this is one of the best days in my life because we government is now talking to the people. Government is now thinking about you. The source of your information is from within the communities. And what is concentrated that I have to sense is public development associations. And my own advice is that uh, we want to beg of you if you are writing on behalf of communities. I think it's better for us or for you to be member of Community Development Association. Speaking on behalf of the Lagos State Government, the Commissioner for Local Government and Community Affairs, Honorable Muslim Falami, assured journalists of government supports. You, the community media practitioners, you are very lucky. Lucky in the sense that this is the first time in Lagos we are having this type of gathering. Bringing the community media practitioners to a place, to a workshop, a seminar that will enhance your scope in your field. The reason is this. is because we are having a government that is sensitive, responsive to the yearnings of the people. A government that believes in inclusion. As I'm talking to you this afternoon, we are having almost 4,000 CDAs in the state. When we came about just 2,000, now we are having over 4,000 CDAs in Lagos. When we talk about CDAs, these are the communities. In his address, the chief host and special advisor to the governor on communities and communications, Honorable Sulaiman Omoyele, has this to say. The community media people are the first line of contact with the people. You are the ones who will know the exact story engage the appropriate authority and ensure that the right thing is done. We get to know what happens in all the communities through you. And since, okay, take for instance, community policing eh, that we are doing with uh, neighborhood watchers, you are the people who will report certain things. With you, there's a kind of synergy between what you report as well as how we handle the security situation in the state and the infrastructural provisions as well. So when you, when, when you go about bringing out your news or your information, there are the things that help the government a lot. Sometimes we think that we don't even read all these things that you're doing, but it goes a long way. You may just see government coming to your neighborhood. You may not know that you are the one, what you have done is what is responsible for what I mean, I mean, the quick intervention of government in ensuring that they quickly move there and they work on it. So we know that we are a veritable and good partners for the good and development of Lagos State. And that is why the, the government is very concerned and passionate about it. The event also witnessed a gala night and presentation of certificates to all the participants.